Give me my phone, Craig, or I will scream so loud all the cops that are in the precinct will come into this room. Oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. You really think that's going to keep me from calling Jack? Well, for the moment. Look, I don't like that you had to find out about Carly and me like this, but it was one isolated moment of madness, of self-pity. How, how can I show you how much I regret this? Don't. Really, don't bother. I mean, it was one stupid little mistake. Don't let this ruin both our lives. Fine, I will just ruin Carly's life, and then we can just call it even, shall we? You hate her that much? Yes, I hate her that much, and you know that, and you slept with her? Because I was jealous. I was jealous of your first love, all right? When I left, I was in a bad place, and um, I found Carly. She was in a worse place, and the inevitable happened. But I'm glad I did. Because I learned something. What, that you can find that on any street corner? That I love you. When Lucy was about to die, you were right by my side. You held me up. You kept me from losing hope. If that's not from love, I, I don't know what is. Why do you care so much about Carly? Ruining Jack's life isn't exactly high on my list, but building a life with you is more important than ruining somebody else's happiness. I know it's not exactly fair that Jack should have to suffer for all of this. It seems that he's only... Crime is really just being as big a fool as I am. No, no, I'm the fool for not seeing what happened. With you, can we please put this behind us, please? I would like to start where I would. But since you have admitted that you have violated the Carly Clause in the Monte Carlo contract, full ownership of the company reverts to me. Rosanna. So you are going to have to get out. You're going to have to clear out your desk and tell your slut to take her things and take her designs and get out before I change the locks. So that's it. I'm Ken. We're history. And you do what? <clears throat> Survive. Lonely way to live. Beats playing the fool. For love? <laughs> I don't love you, Craig. I felt it in the hospital. I feel it now. Forget Carly. I am. Don't throw our lives away for one stupid mistake. One or one hundred? What does it matter if we love each other? You love me. Why? Why do you love me? Because I'm rich? Why does anybody fall in love? No, I asked you a question. Why do you love me? And I, I think I deserve to hear this. For once in your miserable life, be sincere. Rosanna, all the toys in the world don't compare to the feeling I get from you, knowing that I'm the one you need. Huh? With Carly, it's always her. It's her ambitions, her career, her success. With Sierra, I was just the royal poodle. She didn't, you know, need me to make her feel whole, but you do. I matter to you. We matter to each other, and that's what's important. If you just put away this baggage with Carly, you'd admit how important I am to you. He says humbly. He says sincerely. All right? Because you, you, you just don't let me take from you. You let me give. You let me give my comfort. You let me give my support. You, you let me give all my opinions about how I don't even care what the rest of the world thinks. And that's good. That makes me feel good. It makes me feel real. And that real me. That's what you need. 
And that's why I love you too. Hmm? And what you want, I believe, more than uh, revenge or, or getting back at me for any stupid indiscretion, is for me to step up and to take your hand and be the man that makes you happy for the rest of your life. Was it waterproof? Should have thrown it out the window. <laughs> it's Jack. I don't have anything more to say. It's my doctor. <laughs> I think I canceled him. Forget it. The doctor? Forget it. Goodbye. Zen? Don't leave town, don't. I'm not leaving town. I'm just leaving you. <laughs> Come on, Craig, pick up your phone. Well, I would, but they asked you to shut them off at the door. What are you doing here? JJ has a fever and Jack went nuts. So what did Rosanna say? Did you get her to keep her big mouth shut? It's complicated. No, no, there is nothing complicated about duct tape. I don't think she's going to talk. And how did you perform that miracle? By telling Rosanna you didn't sleep with Mike Kasnoff that night. You slept with me.